Hey, and good morning. I am here with Omoon. We are reading today from the insights and wisdom of Omoon, cheerfulness. How does that fit in with all of our lives? Hello, and how are you? It's a good day to be alive, so I'm doing well. There's a poem in your book that I was hoping you would read for us today. Can you share that with us? I can. With a skip in our step and a song in our heart, being cheerful is a great way to start. A smile on your face, a twinkle in your eye, brightens the world as you pass by. A cheerful demeanor, a contagious delight, lifting the spirits of those in sight. Being cheerful, a simple yet powerful act, brings joy and happiness. That's a fact. Smile and laugh and spread some joy. Be a light that others enjoy. For a cheerful and good-natured soul makes the world feel complete and whole. The happy bell is something that we introduced in our office, and it is something along the lines here where you're talking about making a joy and delight of everything that you do. We're a business. There's a lot of stress. There are a lot of deadlines. One of the the things that we did, it was simple, and that was the happy bell. It costs about three and a half dollars for these little happy bells. We have them in all different colors. We have them scattered throughout the entire house. Everybody in our office has one on their desk. Every time they want to celebrate something or they accomplish something or they learn something new, they hit that happy bell. And then in unison, it doesn't matter where you are in the house or what you're doing, everybody will hit their happy bells like, hooray for you. It's a really fun way to keep that happiness going. That concept right there is important too. And that is we either react to things or we proact to things. Usually, if we react to things, it's not the very best way that we could react. For example, if you're frightened of a spider, when you see a spider, you will react in a negative way. We should choose how we want to live. It takes a lot of emotional maturity. It takes some intellectual maturity. One thing I've learned over the years is that people do not mature as they get older necessarily. So just because you're older doesn't mean that you're mature in many areas. We need to create the control of our lives that we respond to things the way we want to respond, the way we want to project ourselves to the world. You talk about when you're surprised and you act out. I never remember a time when you were dancing around and cussing or throwing things or violent or something went out of whack or whatever. I never saw you do that. And that's a really weird thing because most people, they stub their toe and then they start cussing and hopping around. And in my home, when you stub your toe and you wish you could be hopping around cussing, we try to pull an O oh moon where it's like absolutely no expression on the face and in very calm, neutral tones, say these exact words. I wish that didn't happen. <laughs> it makes everybody in the house kind of laugh, and that means something really bad just happened. I think that's another way of being positive without dancing around and expressing oneself in enormous ways. A secret that I learned a long time ago was that if you stub your toe, if you cussed and swore and caused a big scene, your toe really wouldn't feel any better. If you say something like, that didn't turn out very well, and you sit down and rub your toe, and you'll have a better experience. It's interesting because being a father of 19 kids, when you participated in stubbing your toe or whatever it was that may have happened, that's also setting an example for everybody that's in the room that's watching you. How you behaved triggered how I behave in that same situation all these years later. We do take cues from our parents, whether we're consciously aware of it or not. If there had been cussing and fussing and all the things, maybe that's how I would respond today. The idea behind the whole thing is that we're not victims in life. We're really not victims. We create the world that we want to live in. And you want to create a world that you enjoy, a world that makes you happy. You want to approach things optimistically. You want to be cheerful. You want to laugh a lot. You want to have the characteristics of a person who just fully enjoys life, enjoys every day as it comes along. That's the whole essence of what this is about. And to do that, several things have to be in place. It's hard to be just cheerful and happy if, for example, if you watch horror movies all of the time, or if the entertainment that you enjoy is on the dark side, entertain yourself with something that's positive and uplifting. Eat good foods, socialize with good people, happy people, 
and create the world that you want to live in. That's the whole essence of it. We're talking to Omoon on tips from the insights and wisdom of Omoon. Today's topic was on cheerfulness. I hope that you'll pick up your copy. We're here every Saturday for just a little bit to share with you some of life's lessons that will help you live a life of impact. Thank you, Omoon, for joining us today.